-hmm. Can you talk about your moment when you were inspired and, and this idea came to you? Yeah, so I feel like it's actually a very slow unfolding of realizations, of little aha moments. And one of them was um, I, I actually happened to get to hear Muhammad Yunus speak, Dr. Muhammad Yunus, you know, Nobel Peace Prize winner in 2006, but this was three years before he would win the Nobel Peace Prize, so I didn't really know who he was. I just happened to be on Stanford's campus and get to go to this talk. It was a last minute thing. So I go, I was sitting like on the floor of this classroom. There may be 50, 60 people in it. Um, and there he was, and he told a story, and the story struck me in two ways. Number one, I mean, I heard about microfinance for the first time in my life from, you know, one of the forefathers of microfinance, modern microfinance. So that was pretty amazing to learn about that. And it really is kind of a magical thing when you first learn about it, like, wait a minute. There are people out there that all, all they really need is an opportunity. All they need is access to a source of capital the way I've had access to capital my whole life. All they need is this product or service, and then voila. You, you see people who are working hard every day, and if they just have this little infusion of capital, suddenly things just totally turn, and they can work themselves out of poverty. So it's this magical, magical thing to learn about, I think. And then secondly, and actually more powerful, was um, his personal story. So who here has heard Dr. Yunus speak before? Okay, so a handful of people. So the way he tells a story, and I always hesitate to summarize it, but basically he was an economics professor, you know, in the University of Chittagong in Bangladesh, and you know, one day decides to go speak, go across town and speak with these poor women who are basket weavers. And instead of, instead of thinking and studying about poverty from this level and the, the high level, theory level, he goes and speaks to these women one-on-one -on -one and says, well, why are you poor? Tell me your story. And he sits and he listens to them. And again, it's very much like a fairy tale. I mean, he reaches into his pocket, lends a whole village of women, like $27 or something, and then <laughs> the rest is history. I mean, they're able to really break out of their own cycles of poverty, break, they don't need to go to the money lenders anymore, and, and amazing things happen. Well, anyway, all of the microfinance part was great, but what I was really excited about was hearing that there was this amazing man, and the way that he had started to do beautiful and powerful things in the world was to go and sit and talk to people. Because here I am, this philosophy, political science, poetry person thinking like, I have no skills. I, I'm in the middle of a, a business school environment at, at Stanford at that point. I was working there doing some program related stuff. And I just felt like, I don't know how to do a regression. Like, I don't know how to do all this math. I didn't know what my, what I could do, but I knew I knew I was good at interacting with people and I knew I could be a good listener. So I did very, very, very naively decided I would go to East Africa, work with this nonprofit called Village Enterprise Fund, and I basically begged my way into getting them to allow me to go interview like 150 entrepreneurs. So I was like, I gotta get there, I gotta meet the entrepreneurs themselves, and then everything else will work out. So I wanted to be like Dr. Yunus, and I wanted to go hear people's stories and see what I could do. So that's, that was the beginning. That was um, spring of 04. And to overlay the personal, um, <laughs> I had just gotten married to Matt six months before that, and then I, I I find my dream job finally, and I, I go on that. So he came to visit me for sort of the middle few weeks of this three-month assignment, and together we started to have this dialogue because we saw the power of microfinance.